Welcome to the new video. In this one, I'm going to talk about the Tyrod Taylor and Justin Herbert situation, aka debate, I guess. So I did jot down some notes before going live just to save us a little bit of time. So first, we're going to do a comparison between the two. I basically am doing it like this just so it doesn't waste too much of my storage. So, week one, Tyrod Taylor against the Bengals went 16 for 30, 208 yards, zero touchdowns, zero picks, and then in the air, or on the ground, he had six uh, rushes for seven yards in a 16 to 13 win over the Bengals. Which, honestly, just going to have this out there now, was a very, very sloppy game on both sides of the ball, and... It came down to a kicker missing a field goal to give us that win. And, yeah. So, uh, prior to the Week 2 matchup, Justin Herbert was granted the starting role minutes before the game started as Tyra Taylor had a chest injury, which he was then taken to a local medical facility, or facility where he was first marked as questionable and then later in the game was marked as officially out. In his uh, place, Justin Herbert was 22 of 33, 311 yards, one touchdown, one pick through the air, and then he had four rushes for 18 yards and a touchdown in a 23 to 20 OT loss against the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. So to talk about that game real quick, those four rushes, almost all of them seemingly he broke some kind of tackle. That one pick was an ill-advised, you know, play by him. He could have ran and gotten the first. He decided to try to force it, and he paid for it. But he's a rookie. It was his first start. He didn't really have a chance to learn an offense or get any chemistry between himself and the rest of the players. Now he's had a full week to do so, and now he goes against the Panthers way more prepared than he was last week. With that being said, since the game last Sunday... There has been some surfacing details about the Tyrod Taylor situation. Tyrod Taylor's injury was indeed a chest injury, but it wasn't just any chest injury. It was caused by a misuse of an injection or... I don't know how to phrase it. A injection not being used properly, I guess, would be the best way to phrase it. And due to this, it caused his ribs to a rib injury as well as a punctured lung, I think, from what I've read. And so due to this, the doctors have told him that he will be, he should be out indefinitely due to the lung, mainly the lung portion of the injury. If it was just the ribs, we would have a timetable, which is why I believe the lungs are the bigger of the issue. With that being said, Herbert does get the start against the Carolina Panthers where he will be playing against a team that sucks against the run, so his stats might not be the best this week. But, obviously, you got to attack a team's weakness, and right now the Panthers' weakness is definitely the run game. Now, this leads to the question. If, her, if Tyrod does get healthy sooner rather than later, should he get the starting job back? I've mentioned that I don't like how Herbert got the starting job because it was basically a just a bad, you know, bad situation. But do I believe that if Tyrod comes back, he should just get the reins right back from Herbert? I do not, unless Herbert plays super terribly. And I don't mean like one touchdown, one pick. I mean multiple picks for the next couple games. Herbert has shown more leadership and the team around him showed a lot more fire and uh, fight this past week than the week before. Now, like I said, if Herbert struggles, doesn't do anything on the ground like he did last week where he did score a rushing touchdown, or he turns the ball over multiple times, then I could see the potential of Tyrod coming back. Problem is, Tyrod himself didn't score any touchdowns. He didn't turn the ball over, it, but he didn't score any touchdowns either. The one touchdown that we scored last, or the first, week one, was a Joshua Ke Kelly rushing touchdown. Both the touchdowns this week that we scored were thanks to Ty uh, Justin Herbert. One passing, one rushing. One showed exceptionally exceptionally high poise for a last-minute, basically a last-minute start. 
The other, despite having had the team, you know, for whatever time during practice and whatever, was not able to produce as well as Tyrod Taylor, or as uh, Justin Herbert did. So overall, to me, Justin T Herbert should be the starter for the foreseeable future unless he plays terribly. I don't see it happening. And I don't think anyone else sees it happening. I don't even think greater fans will see it happening. With that being said, if Tyrod does get the start, and I was the coach, I'd give him one half of football. Because Herbert was able to get two touchdowns, I think, in a single half of football. If Tyrod cannot duplicate the production of a rookie quarterback, who was making his first start at the time, then I don't think Herbert's the guy. Uh, Joshua Kelly has also been a uh, pretty good help along with Eckler to Herbert, but with the same weapons, Tyrod was not able to produce the same way. With that being said, conclusion, Herbert should be the starter and w hopefully will be the starter for the remainder or the vast majority of the remainder of the season unless something goes wrong. But thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video, which will likely be a franchise mode on Madden that's starting up on Monday. But thank you guys. Leave your comments or leave your leave your, the comments below of your thoughts on this situation, no matter what fan base you're a part of. And I hope to see you guys on Monday.